Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who sent their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Regina Celi. Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he who we did merit to bear, Alleluia. Has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad of Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant to beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has served and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to us to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of Saint Isidore, or San Isidro Labrador, 
we offer this Mass most especially for our farmers. We offer this Mass for our for those who are taking care, care of the, our uh, goods, especially our farmers, that God may continue to bless them with great produce. In silence, let us also pray for our personal intentions and for all those who ask for our prayers. Let us now, my dear brothers and sisters, acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord God, to whom belongs all creation and who call us to serve you by caring for the gifts that surround us, inspired by the example of Saint Isidore, to share our food with the hungry and to work for the salvation of all, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and with ardent spirit spoke and taught accurately about Jesus. Although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there were to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that the Christ is Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is King of all the earth. God is King of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the awesome and the great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. For King of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon His holy throne. God is King of all the earth. The princes of the people are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth. He is supreme. God is king of all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, we The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me, and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father, and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world, and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel tells us of the role of Jesus as the mediator. Ano po ang mediator? Si Jesus po as a mediator ang naglilink o nagdudugtong ulit sa atin mga tao at sa atin Diyos Ama. Remember po, di ba, in the Old Testament, nagkaroon kasi ng separation. Bakit po? Because of the sin of Adam and Eve. And later on po, yung mga unfaithfulness ng mga tao nung time ng Old Testament. ba? Diba? But eventually po, ito po ay na-reconcile. No? Na-reconcile ang tao at ang Diyos. At sino po ang nag-reconcile nito? It was through Jesus Christ. No? By dying on the cross, man and God the Father are united again. No? No? So ang mediator po natin ay si Jesus Christo. So, sabi nga po ni Jesus Christ sa ating in our gospel today, you ask the Father in my name. So, di ba if you you recall po nung naririnig natin parati pag tayo ay nagdarasal, di ba? Ang last part parati ng ating dasal ay we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ibig sabihin po, we ask God the Father to have mercy on us through His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. So, ang atin pong Panginoong Heso Kristo ang nagiging mediator natin to the Father. No? Yan po ang role ni Jesus na sinasabi niya sa atin pong gospel ngayong araw na ito. Not because si Jesus lang ang pwede natin daanan. No? Not because hindi tayo pwedeng dumiretsyo sa Father. But because, sabi nga ni Jesus in our gospel today, unang-una, God already loves us. No? Pero, Jesus would help us to or intercede for us or help us to be with the Father. So yan po yung tawag sa atin ni Jesus Christ ngayong araw nito. To continue to be connected with Jesus is to connect also our lives with God the Father. So we continue our Easter season thanking Jesus for uniting us again with the Father. And also today po we celebrate the feast of Saint Isidore no or San Isidro Labrador sabi nga po natin no si San Isidro Labrador po ay isang a farmer no a simple farmer sabi nga po ng ng kanyang life story he was a married man ikinasal sa isang isang mahirap din na babae but kahit po yung asawa niya ay naging naging banal naging holy no because they go together to pray before going to work. No, simple ang kanilang pamumuhay po. No, they were simple farmers. But what made them whole and that made them a uh, saint is because of their holiness. Na kahit po may trabaho sila, they have not forgotten to go and pray. Kaya nga po, di ba yung yung boss ni Saint Isidore ay pinayagan din siya. No, na kasi nakita niya yung kabaitan ni Saint Isidore na magsimba muna bago pumunta ng 
na magsaka o di kaya pumunta sa 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 uh, sa farm no yan po ang nangyari sa buhay ni Saint Isidore so Saint Isidore is teaching us po the kagaya po ngayong pandemic despite the pandemic we can still pray despite the pandemic we can still go and pray no despite the pandemic we can still worship God at lalong-lalo na po si Saint Isidore po kahit po sila ay mahirap kahit mahirap ang pamilya na no sabi po ng kanyang numang kwento tungkol sa kanyang buhay ay marami pa rin po siyang natulungan, lalong-lalo ngayon mga kapwa niya mahihirap. At yan po ang tawag sa ating ngayong pandemic, no? That despite na tayo din po ay nahihirapan sa buhay, we have all the reasons to help. We still have all the reasons to continue to be generous to one another because we know that we have a God who is generous who is loving. So we also continue to share and spread that love and that generosity to God, most especially to the poor. Amen. Jesus invites us to make every petition to the Father through Him and guarantees us joy in answering to our prayers. In every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the Church, through their preaching and guidance, may lead us to the glory of our heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who hold public office may be given the grace to serve with honesty and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who find life stressful and burdensome may receive strength from the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the sick may find comfort and encouragement from their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be brought to the joy and glory of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you always hear us and grant all we ask for through the merits of your Son. May your Spirit abide in us to teach us what we ask or what we should ask the Father and to pour forth your gifts into our needs. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of Blessed Isidore, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to so claim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed by the oblation of this of his body he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest the altar and the lamb of sacrifice Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heaven powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this, in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread <laughs> and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Whoever wishes to come after me, 
must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of Blessed Isidore, sanctify our minds and hearts that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the mission prayer. God, our loving Father, you sent your Son into the world to proclaim the good news of salvation to all, to sinners, the poor, the oppressed, the sick, the abandoned and neglected. He gave his life on the cross for us and rose again to new life to redeem us and reconcile us with you. You sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles to continue the work of your Son and to lead all to salvation. We thank you, Father, for bringing us from darkness into light. Through your loving plan, 500 years ago, missionaries came to our land to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, your Son, to our ancestors that made us your people and the church. The gift of faith has accompanied us through both darkness and lights, defeats and victories of our history as your people. Our faith has become for us true light that shines in the darkness. Renew in us the grace of your Spirit that impels us to be witnesses of Jesus, your Son, to a world broken by greed, violence, injustice, sickness, and suffering. May our faith bring us to unity as your children, to care for and love one another. May the Holy Spirit empower us to be proclaimers of the good news to our brothers and sisters in Asia and to all nations. Give us a sincere desire to help others to come to faith in the Lord Jesus and to share in your joy and life. May the Blessed Mother, the star of evangelization, accompany us and pray for us as we live and share our faith with others. May a strong love and devotion to her as our Mahal na Ina, form us to be true disciples and witnesses of Jesus to all, always ready to be sent and to be obedient to whatever Jesus asks of us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Pia, pray for us. Let us now offer a song to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we beseech you, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, 
to you do we plead to us God our Father for help in our need of Him, of Him, of Him, Maria, of Him, of Him, of Him, Maria. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I too offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Then, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>